The reports are swirling that Samsung might be killing off the Note. This isn't the first time we've heard about this, so let's dig in. According to a new report by Reuters, Samsung may discontinue the Galaxy Note smartphone. It says that Samsung has no plans to develop a new version of the Galaxy Note for 2021. That would mean that the Note 20 is the last of its kind. Reuters says that S Pen compatibility would come to the Galaxy S21 and a Samsung foldable phone. The S21 would come with the stylus, but you'd have to buy the stylus separate from the folding phone. Building on that, the report says that the Note team is channeling its efforts into Samsung's foldable phones. Now, how accurate is this report? Well, I'll tell you. It seems very, very believable. First off, it's from Reuters, which is an excellent and trusted source. Second, we have seen a lot of reports in the past several months about Samsung ending the Note line. For the past several generations of Note and S phones, we've seen a convergence when it comes to the feature sets. The S got larger and larger and larger to the point where the Note and the S were very similar in size. The earliest Notes were larger than the S. They had experimental features first. The first edge screen on a Samsung device was on the Note. That eventually found its way onto the Samsung Galaxy S line. With each generation of Galaxy S and Galaxy Note, the two lines were becoming increasingly similar. Now that the Galaxy Note and Galaxy S are so similar, I could see Samsung moving its research and development over into its foldable phones. These foldable phones are the more interesting, experimental, strange products of Samsung. And that's what the Note was about. However, as the Note and the S have gotten more and more mature, their feature set has merged for the most part. Experimentation, not so much. Advances need to be made in the foldable phone space. The Galaxy Fold is a great idea in some respects. Its durability is still in question. Then there's the Galaxy Z Flip, which also has some durability concerns. If these foldable phones will support a stylus of some kind, those screens will have to be able to handle the pressure without getting damaged. And I mean that in a physical sense. I don't know how the Samsung Note team can be used to handle such a problem. The limitation for these flexi phones seems to be the durability of the flexible glass layer. Should Samsung go ahead and kill off the Note, I have been a huge Note fan for years, and I say, yes. The Galaxy Note has barely any distinction from the Galaxy S line. While I like the squared off body of the Note, the real thing that keeps me with the Note is the stylus. I wanna be able to write out and draw out thoughts using my phone. When I saw the Galaxy Fold, I thought that would be the future of the Note line. It's one thing when you're writing on a notepad, it's another when you're writing on a more of a tablet sized device. Having more space for writing and drawing is always great. The Note 20 Ultra was kind of pushing things with its 6.9 inch screen. How can you fit a bigger screen in your pocket? Make it fold, which is kind of like having an Android tablet on you all the time. Now you might be thinking, wait, why would you want an Android tablet? Aren't you the guy who says Android tablets stink? And yeah, I am that guy. I think that in general, Android tablets are kind of a mess. Samsung is one of the few bright spots in that world by throwing in lots and lots of features at its tablets and large screen phones. Samsung is one of the companies pushing forward with multitasking and picture in picture on its version of Android while official Android lagged behind. And DeX is a brilliant idea. Having one portable device also be my desktop. I've wanted something like that for years. Let's pour one out for the UMPCs. Also, I wanna point out that one of the more recent changes at Samsung was providing continued and regular updates to their older hardware. Way to go. I am really looking forward to seeing what Samsung is going to do with its foldable phones with the Note team in tow. I know this sounds nuts now, but Samsung used to have a lot of wacky phone designs in the past. Maybe there are other ways to build a foldable like the uh, LG Wing. Now that was different. Am I going to run out and buy a flexible phone or the next S just because it supports the S Pen? No, that's madness in my case because I have the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I think that's gonna be just fine for the next several years. If the Note line is done, I don't see this being an event where people get together and mail Samsung a bunch of notepads to get the note back. I don't see petitions happening to save the note. No save the note t-shirts, none of that. Now remember, Samsung has not officially killed off the note Yet, I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.